Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. If you hear any weird noises in the background, just please try and bear with it. I do live in a crowded neighborhood. But we are doing a breakdown on Remington 12 gauge STS. This is the one and one eighth ounce version, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch dram equivalent, which comes out to 1145 FPS. Today's snooze and drink combo is Tang, which is orange flavor, and Yotaborg's Rapia, original portion. So, starting with the box, we have a green and gold box, metallic green, because the shells inside are metallic green. Top of the box says Premier STS Light Target, world class number one performance. These are actually kind of similar to the Nitro 27s I did recently, although these are obviously green. I believe the key difference is obviously the Gold Hall and the Nitro 27s do have a little bit harder shot, higher antimony. But um, the STS box has looked the same for a really long time, really nothing special. If you want to read anything, just pause it. I'll turn it sideways for you too. The other side of the box is just more warnings. The cutaway of the shell is showing a figure eight wad, but as we know, sometimes the, what's showing here isn't actually what's in the shell, but obviously primer, powder, wad, shot, crimp, all that stuff. Let's open it up and see what we got. Actually, first, I forgot to show the shell, but obviously very shiny metallic green. These hulls are beautiful. That is what I would describe them as. Golden green. We have low brass, and this actually is brass, not brass plated steel. We have a Remington STS primer which is also golden color or brass, whatever you want to call it. A really good eight point fold crimp, nice and deep set. Although as is usual with Remington, no taper at all. It is square on top. It says Premier STS light target. Uh, it's hard to see, two and three quarter dram, one and one eighth ounce, seven and a half. And then Remington, we have two and three quarter inch and what appears to say 70 millimeter. It's really hard to read that. It's so faded off. One thing I noticed, this right here does not have a mark on the primer, but if we look at a few others, you can see three little dings on the primer, three little dings on the primer, dings on the primer, and dings on the primer. What caused that, I don't know. This shell right here is also kind of scuffed up. I did just get these recently. I have no idea what's going on with these, but yeah, marks on the primers. I wonder if their tooling had something caught in it and uh, whenever they received the primers, it left the impression of whatever was caught in it. I don't know, just really weird to see. That one is kind of torn up though. So because this one has scuffs on it and the weird primer indent, this is the one that we will be opening up because I'm curious what's going on with this. Although it's probably not gonna show anything. So for a payload, we have 1.127 ounces, which is maybe one pellet more than ounce and an eighth, but pretty much a one and one eighth ounce payload. And we do have some really good looking shot in here as is typical with Remington high end target loads. As you can see, it's all completely uniform, seven and a half shot, no deformities, nothing like that. Again, really good looking shot. And of course, our figure eight wad. Can anyone guess why it's called a figure eight? I sure can't tell. But yeah, pretty good wad here. And for a charge, we have 16.8 of this stuff right here. Can anyone guess what that is? Because it is plainly obvious what this powder is. Let's get a better look at it. If those green dots don't give away what powder this is, well, I don't know what will. <laughs> now I know this may be kind of hard to see, but we do have a tapered hull. This is a one-piece hull too, just like the old Winchester compression form double A's were. But yeah, one-piece hull and again, tapered. We can see our primer in there. It is a, if this had a base wad, it would be a low base wad because the primer is sticking up above it quite a bit. I guess I should say the primer is sticking up above the bottom of the hull quite a bit. Pretty cool. So, unless you've been living under a rock, everybody knows the Remington STS is probably, and the Nitro 27, the best reloading hulls on the market today. They are incredibly sturdy and they last a very long time. I still have no idea what's up with the primers on a few of these. 
And here it is, put back together. Looks just like it did when it came out of the box. Can't really ask for better than that, although I guess you could with a taper, so I don't know why I said that. But yeah, looks pretty good. Still kind of scuffed up, as you can see right there. Still dense on the primer. This lighting is not doing these halls justice. Hold on one second. I think this is better. You can actually see the color of it now. Very shiny, metallic green. Beautiful haul. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.